for various reasons I list it out, sir. Number one, sir, as a student of law, I was taught that the criminal law is based on territorial jurisdiction. Now here, by bringing this bill, you are extending that territorial jurisdiction. The concept of universal jurisdiction, it does apply only in cases of crime against humanity or genocide. The classic case is of the case of uh, Pinochet trial which was held in UK. And that is why I feel that we as a country, we have not yet signed international criminal court statute. I want to know from the Honourable Minister that are you going to sign the international criminal court statute so that once you do, do that, any dictator who has indulged in crimes against human genocide will be tried. Till you sign that, we don't have the territorial jurisdiction. It is fine to say we will do it. Second, sir, assuming that a, a terrorist offence takes place, you send an NIE officer and you say here that our laws will prevail. It will not prevail because the local laws will prevail. What powers are you giving to that NIE officer? For example, something happens, God forbid, in Afghanistan, you know, it happened in the Indian embassy. Will the Afghans allow it? No. Even Nepal will not allow you. The reason behind is that, do we have the diplomatic clout? Please don't compare ourselves with US and Israel. You know, these are not in true sense democratic countries, sir. Thirdly, sir, you know, uh, uh, you know, this is my opinion. No, 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 are, are you so afraid of US? You can, I don't know. You love US so much, good luck to you and Israel. I don't. Madam, uh, sir, now here, now here amendment to section, it uh, talks about affecting the interests of India. What is that? Can you please define, define what is, what is affecting the interests of India? You know, in, in bill it cannot be so vague. Third point, sir. Now you say this affecting the interests of India, you are creating a device for yourself. Why I say that, please read Anwar Ali Sarkar and the state of West Bengal, sir. Fourth point, sir. Uh, does the NIA have special investigative techniques? And if those investigative techniques, do they have the legislative approval and sanction? No. And I'm, sir, do, do, do three minutes, sir, Khali. Do minute, DJ, khatam kar dunga, sir. Sir, now, in administration, in administrative and constitutional law, sir, we follow the rule that any power is coupled with the responsibility. May I know from the Honourable Minister, now, what is the responsibility of his government towards the victims? I can quote you numerous examples. Samjota Blast, the judge said that the NIA could not even produce the CCTV footage of, 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 of the Delhi railway station. Can I know from the Honourable Minister that will his government issue a letter of apology to the Malaga one accused who were exonerated by courts of law? I want to know from the Honourable Minister, sir, you are in the schedule you included IT Act. Can he confirm to this house that the ISIS in Khorasa had issued a video with my photograph stating that I am a ghulam of this Hindu nation? Whether that video is there or not, please say that. The reason I am saying is that because the Honourable Minister quoted, and that's a khatam karo, sir. The answer, aap me rescue kaiye, sir. Honorable Minister stated that Hyderabad is a den of terrorists. The ISIS in Khorasan issued a video with my photograph. So what am I? Am I, am I for the nation or am I for the terrorists? Let the government reply to that. You know, or the nation. Sir, will you appeal against the Makkah Masjid blast? Who killed those nine people? Which included a 11-year-old uh, Hafez of Quran. I had seen his body. His, his head was in two pieces. I cannot still go to his house. Why are you not appealing? Do you have a firm resolve against terrorism? Why are you not appealing against the Makkah Masjid blast? Who, who's responsible? Where's the accountability? Who's responsible for 66 people who died in Samjota blast? Why are you not appealing? Why are you not appealing? Why are you not appealing against, uh, uh, against, uh, uh, against uh, Ajmer blast? So these are all terrorist offenses. And I hope that the government will, will, will reply to it. Because you see, the, the narrative, sir, khatam kar, narrative kya ho gaya, sir? Ke victim agar musalman hai, or accused non-muslim hai, to aap kuch nahi karenge. Yeah.